Hi, welcome back to the next edition of Coffee Time, Success Nuggets. While you sip a cup of coffee, let me throw one of the leadership questions that keep coming to me very often. How do I inspire people? How do I build confidence in them? How do I ensure that whatever I say, they have complete faith in what I say? I normally ask them the first thing. Have you ever observed the kind of conversations that you have? What kind of tone you take? What kind of words that you actually use in these conversations? As leaders or as potential leaders, many times what happens is we do not really measure the impact of both our thoughts and the conversion of the thoughts into words, which seem to really impact the people emotionally and otherwise. Let me explain it to you. It's not that everything that happens to you can always be good. But what you present to the world has a huge impact because the world is always looking up to leaders even if it's a small organization or a small family, there is one person or one or two people who are considered as leaders. And hence what they say becomes literally what is known as thought leadership. It reverberates across the organization. Hence, what goes out of our mouth is something very, very, very to be delivered carefully. I remember the words of Mahatma Gandhi in this regard. No unthought word shall escape my pen or my tongue, he wrote in his book. Very powerful indeed. Considering that a flock of people literally listen to what you say and they jump into action or their mood swing based on what you talk. Let me come to the crux of the issue. As a leader, even if you have to give a message which is negative in nature, Ensure that cut off all the flowers around it, cut off all the paraphernalia around it. Learn to deliver any negative message in one single sentence and keep it as emotion neutral as possible. As far as positive things are concerned, even if it is a very small success story, just one order converted, maybe a small victory attained, or a small relationship built, one nice email received, one good uh, recipe cooked in the family, whatever it may be. Celebrate it where you at least talk about that specific event in at least five or more sentences. What you focus expands. The more you focus on negativity in terms of your own thinking and the words that you choose to use when it comes out of your mouth, tends to impact like a ripple effect all those who are around you. The same is true for positivity as well. As far as leadership is concerned, you have a very big role to play because uh, many of the followers are like children. They tend to copy, ape you and do exactly what you do. Words of inspiration. Even a gloomy message can be given off in one single word. We are expecting better times. Thank you for your cooperation. We are there to take care of you. For example, can be a simple way of delivering a negative message. Whereas a positive message, you don't need to explain uh, in just one sentence. Go around, use five, six sentences to expand on it because it impacts the mood of the people positively. Even if it is a failed effort, how you package and present it positively is something which would have a long lasting impact on the people who are around you. While you continue to sip the cup of coffee along with me, just focus on the words that you choose to express and how much time you invest in expressing them. If it's negativity, better to keep your mouth shut. If you still have to express Say it in one sentence in a way the message is conveyed without creating much of turbulence. If it is a positive message, please spend as much time and expand on what you are conveying. People will love your leadership style and flock to you and you'll become an inspiration 
and the role model for many, many of your, uh, those members who are flocking to you for hope. After all, leadership is all about giving hope. Choose words wisely till we meet again in Coffee Time Success Nuggets. This is Prakash signing off.